former Fort Worth police officer admitted today on the stand to not doing good police work in several instances, but he said he was responding to the threat of deadly force. It's the first time Aaron Dean has publicly told his side of the story of the shooting of a Tatiana Jefferson. Jason Allen was in court. He's been there since day one. Tim Curry Criminal Justice Center live in Fort Worth tonight. So a bit of a surprise today, right, with Dean being called, let alone being the defense team's first witness. <laughs> It, it was, Doug, and it, and it was clear very early this morning before court started that something today was a little bit different. Dean was standing up. He was walking around before court, court started. He was, he was talking to people. He was smiling. He had some additional family members in the room, and then as the jury was called in, his, uh, his lawyers called him to the stand, and he answered several big questions once he was up there saying that he thought it was a burglary in progress that he was at that night, that yes, he saw a gun pointed at him, and he got emotional describing the decision to fire his own gun, and then described how even after he shot Tatiana Jefferson, he was confused about what was happening. And I get to that back bedroom, and off to my right, I see a kid, and of course it's, you know, we know it's Zion. And I'm thinking, who brings a kid to a burglary? What is going on? I see a dog, and at that point I was just like, never mind, forget what else go. You've got Darcy, just shut up and work, shut up and work. Get, get the weapon, render aid to her. Well, prosecutors later took the opportunity to finally question Aaron Dean, often asking him if decisions that he made last night were good police work. And he regularly said, no, they weren't. And there were some heads shaking on Jefferson's side of the room, specifically during this exchange. If you had announced yourself, I talked to you on that Jefferson would still be alive, correct? I don't know. You still might have shot her anyway? It would have depended on if she came out the front with a gun. Are you telling this jury you still might, there might have been some a situation where you still might have shot her anyway? Only if she pointed a gun at me. He spent about three hours on the witness stand today. The defense team followed that with a forensic video analyst talking a lot about how the video that you see from a camera isn't necessarily what someone in real life could see and what they could hear. The defense will continue their case tomorrow morning. Doug Nicole. All right, a lot coming out of this court case and a lot more to watch. Jason, thank you so much.